What is up guys, Kelly Kevin today back with a brand new episode of Fallout 4 Mod Shuggies. So hopefully guys are having a super sick day and today we are going to be looking at the WH77 Modular LSW. A little bit of a mouthful there but this gun is a freaking machine, let me tell you that. Guys as always if you want this mod it's down in the description below, make sure to go over to those links. Show some love even if you aren't going to get this because the people that make these mods do take a lot of time doing it and uh, they obviously need to have all the praise they can get, get because for future games possibly for the next like Elder Scrolls I am hoping fingers crossed like loads of us are that we do get that and there is mod features in there as well that'd be super sick and I'm super excited to do this one now I've done this one several different times but every time I've done it either a the footage is being corrupt B I've been interrupted by someone numerous times so uh, I'm gonna try and do this for the third time now so as I've said prior to this, but you probably wouldn't have heard any of those because I've deleted those, but basically when you get this gun and you install it, the only way you can get it is by um, sort of buying it from a vendor, which I personally did as well. I have a few in my settlement and sanctuary, as you can tell there, or if you don't have those, you don't have the requirements and you are a fresh newbie, then best bet to go is the Diamond City Marketplace and buy off the weapons vendor there pretty much easier option or if you are a tad ass and you're playing like an Iron Man mode or anything like that you can actually find these off mobs in game as well so have a little look around and do that if you are trying to save those caps or something else but obviously if you've got loads of caps and you want to get this instantly best bet is to go to any vendor weapon vendor and try and buy this Carla again oh she's alive well snap because every time is she alive well hot diggity damn she is Near enough, every episode that we've done has been she's either dead and the cow is on the roof, so that's slightly weird. But yeah, so once you've got the gun and everything else, what I like to do on these mod showcases is what I personally like to do is I like to grab the gun, have a look at it uh, aesthetically, what it looks like personally at the beginning of the thing, change it, modify it, see what modifications are on it, and then what I like to do is at the end of the video, maybe for like 30 seconds or 2 minutes, have a clip of montages of me going around and killing stuff. Um, just to show off the weapon basically how much damage it can do and uh, just show off the sheer beauty of each weapon So that's what we're gonna be doing for this one So I've already got the weapon on me as I said because I've done this numerous times. This is it Don't think I can zoom out anymore actually. Let's let's go in. This is it. It's a freaking huge and it's an absolute beast so obviously in this one here, we've obviously got the advanced rapid receiver. I've obviously put a couple of mods on it. Again, prior to this, I have done it. As you can tell, there's loads of different ones. Basically, like a standard modification on the barrel there. So for us, we've chosen the advanced rapid automatic 5mm receiver, which is awesome because we've got 2,000 rounds off that. As you can tell on the top right of the description there, 5mm auto receiver, 85% plus of damage, 15% plus on fire rate as well. This thing does sound beautiful as as it looks. <laughs> Trust me on that, it's absolutely savage. So uh, we've got the advanced receiver on that one. We're gonna go into the long barrel here. Now you can have this however that you like. Um, personally for me, I like to choose the long range support rifle purely because it uh, sort of holds the spray on the hip fire. Uh, also does a nice amount of uh, reducing the recoil and obviously as well the sight accuracy is an 80% plus as well so it's very good for long range. The doorbell's gone off so yeah that's personally why I like to have the long range support barrel and just because I want that sort of uh, long range sort of effect on it as well just because it looks freaking damn awesome and for the fact as well you get so much beneficial sort of attributions to the weapon by having that long range support thing. Again variations on stocks as well short stock full stock uh, a sort of compact stock. I don't really like that one. It just minuses the fact of recoil and the sight accuracy goes up. But for me, I like to just just have the look on this. I mean, there's so many other beneficials throughout the gun. There's just no point. So for me, I'm just going for all, just for look. To be totally honest, I shouldn't be. I should actually be going for something different. But that's fine. Or the actual purpose of a weapon. Uh, but for me, it's a minus 55 recoil, which is nice, and the sight is 55% accurate as well. 9 times 10, I am aiming now sights, uh, even with sort of shotguns and stuff. I don't know why there is just spray on it, but uh, I am doing that as well. Again, loads of different magazines, side ones, drum ones, but my favourite is the Quick Inject Box Magazine. This is absolutely insane. I believe it has 100 rounds in it as well. Um, very rarely, they do have to reload with this one as well, and it's super fast, and we will display that as well on the reloading which is freaking damn awesome sights as well it's entirely up to you i chose the circle just because i always love the circle even if like playing through the call of duty games and the call of duty franchises or any other particular game even battlefield i think has uh sort of different reticle sites that you can change i always love the circle ones just absolutely awesome 
Muzzle brake as well, add that on because why not? I don't think it improves anything, I think it does. Let's press the sound fire on a muzzle brake, uh, controls recoil for a pre-shot recoil. Yeah, so pretty much this is, I basically narrowed down all the recoil from this gun, hip fire and obviously through sights a significant amount. So this should be literally breaking down more. And you have this as well. I personally didn't, it's uh, sort of the front bit at the top, I always love the front bit at the top, I think it just adds that sort of big beefy effect on it, you don't have to have it though, it's entirely up to you, and as well bipod, I don't really like bipods, uh, I don't see the point in them at all, I can't get them to flick out or do anything like that as well, so that's pretty pointless, and for the fact that usually a bipod would control some of that recoil as well, but obviously there's no beneficials to having a bipod, so I chose no bipod, you can choose the rounds that you have as well, all different sort of uh, different attributes to them so a full metal jacket with slight reduced damage and 10% armor penetration not too bad for the FMJ I chose the JHP round so the jacket hollow point round increases damage because why not I'm trying to go for the biggest build I can here an AP round which is armor penetrating or arm piercing round uh, slightly reduces damage by 35% but obviously you have, well slightly reduces damage but 35% is the armor penetration so not too bad on that one um, I kind of just like to get close to be honest, so that's why I've chosen that. So, let's have a little look at this thing. This is what it looks like from here. Let's zoom out a little bit. You can't see it that great. I'm probably going to have to head outside of Sanctuary to actually show you this in general so I can get a quick spin of the camera. But as you can tell by the walking animation, it is kind of large just in general. And uh, it's freaking huge, if I'm honest. It's a really beasty sort of gun to have. So if we come over here and I hold it and then we can zoom out, as you can tell, that is a freaking machine and a half. Look how huge that gun is. Beautiful, just in general. Sounds nice as well and also for the fact of, it's hardly any recoil on it. It does move ever so slightly, we are going to counterbalance that with obviously your triggers just in general. But uh, yeah, it's, it's really, really nice. So now, obviously, for this part of the video, I'm going to show you what it is capable of and how sort of effective it is actually in combat with all these other attributions attached to them and how effective it would be in a real-life situation to do with the Commonwealth. Guys, if you did enjoy this, make sure to hit the like and a comment. Obviously, subscribe for more daily content. But until the next one, guys, Killer Kev here and Killer Kev out.